Now, here's what's happening now in Northeast Washington. Police are looking for these men. They're accused of tying up eight Catholic University students and then robbing them at gunpoint. This happened at a home just steps away from the university on 7th Street Northeast. Tonight, friends tell us that they are rattled by this crime that they believe was completely random. Jay Korf is live in Northeast Washington tonight with more. Jay, how are those victims doing tonight? Leanna, a friend tells me under the harrowing circumstances that the young men had to go through that they are doing pretty well holding up. Uh, another new development, uh, I'm told tonight seven out of the eight victims of this crime are actually on the Catholic University football team. So these are strong, tough young men, but certainly no match for the firepower that they faced on that day. Most of the young men who were tied up inside this house near Catholic University in Northeast back on April 4th by three armed intruders were members of the football team, according to player Mike O'Shea. These are a lot of our good friends and stuff that live next door, so it was really tough to see that for, uh, for them. O'Shea says his teammates, while rattled, are coping well. They're tough guys. They're all strong, so I know that they've rebounded from it pretty well. Um, they were a little shaken up, but like I said, they're, they're tough guys. I think they're... They're doing all right. Thursday, police announced a big development in this case. After working with the students, they now have composite sketches of two of the three suspects. Suspects, they say, were bold and heavily armed. Two subjects were armed with semi-automatic handguns. Third subject was armed with a long rifle, possibly an assault rifle, and that's what is scary for us. Authorities say the attackers forced their way in, used zip ties to subdue the students, and fled with cell phones, cash, and credit cards. Sources tell ABC7 News that the suspects told the victims watch who you hang out with. But Mike O'Shea is convinced his friends were not targeted. The way that went down, there's really nothing you can do about that. Luckily, no one was hurt, and thankfully, it's probably something that's in the past now. Investigators are, of course, very encouraged by this development of these new composite sketches that are out. Certainly, if you recognize any of these people, to contact law enforcement immediately. We should also note that when this incident happened back earlier in the month, Catholic University officials certainly sent out an alert to students very soon after it happened, and people are much more vigilant now. Live in Northeast, Jay Korf, ABC 7 News. All right.